back the line there today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was tough. They're, they're one of the toughest teams to play in the league. They're, they're aggressive, you know, they've got the two big boys up front. Like, um, it's a hard game, uh, and I think maybe a draw might have been uh, a good result. What was it like playing in there with uh, Young McCauley, obviously, his first, first start for you? Yeah, yeah, no, very good player, very good player, and the future's bright for him. Uh, he can do well, whatever he wants to do with his career, uh, he will do, and he's a great lad, so I thought he'd done well, and um, there's going to be many, many more for him. Why do you say that? Why do you think he can do that? I mean, what's, what's, what's that about him? What he's, what he's got? I think his ability in terms of on the ball, um, like, it's very, very good. And I think for he's quite small, but he's very aggressive, and he's, he's going to go and challenge. He's not, he's, he's not going to battle away. And I think he's just honest. He's a great kid, so we see it all the time in training. Yeah. So we weren't surprised that he's gone and he's, and, uh, and he's doing well, and, and, and he's getting the chances. And the gaffer's played him because he, he's been doing well. So for me, it's just excited to see him grow and to continue to yeah. That's it. Just, I'm just excited to see him grow and continue to play. Did you smoke into the, the arms or anything like that? No, no, no. Oh yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, when he first first came, so when I first when I first met him, he was sixteen, so he was quite nervous, and I just used to always tell him like, you belong here, like you would do certain things, I'm like you belong here, so you you need to believe it, and this season he's taking his chance and he's done very very well, and I'm I'm really happy for him. Do you have conversations with him uh, on the like, does, does he ask you questions about what what to do in the midfield? Uh, I don't think he asks me questions. I I think he knows exactly what he needs to do. But I think today I, I just spoke to him before the game. I'm just like, you're good enough. Like, you deserve to be here. Um, I speak to all of them. I speak to Finley. I speak to to Denham. I think like they're all m my position. So you're, obviously you compete for the same uh, positions. But like, it's never, it's not competition. Like, oh, I don't want you to do well. I don't want you to. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're we're a great bunch. So um, yeah, no, I don't really say much to him to be fair. But just encourage him and like a little bit of correction, whatever, and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Just, just, just because he's young, he, he can help me out. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, no, I'm very happy for him, and no, not not a lot of correction, to be fair. Do you have to say anything with regard to the crowd? Because sometimes um, the crowd can give you antsy. Do you yeah. have to say to kind of just block that out? 100%. I block it all, all the time. Like, the crowd are brilliant, the fans. Without, f fans, without, f fans, without fans, football is it's nothing, right? But... As me personally, for me, I don't the, f the fans and whatever they're not there. Like when I play football, I'm I'm on the pitch. Like you're a professional, you need to do your job. You're gonna make mistakes, but so what? You know um, that, and I and I think that works for me per personally. I don't really have social media, so when I play well, if I don't play well, I don't see all that. You know, I'm just playing football. I'm just trying to enjoy myself and obviously be being out for such a long time. So yeah, you you've got to block it out. And I I, I told that to Denham. Because at times he gets a little bit, um, I just say, and he's, he's a very good player. And I just told him, I was like, the day that you learn to block it out, that's when you're going to go to another level that a lot of pe people won't be able to get to. So I, it's a learning curve. I wasn't there at 19, so and some of these boys are that at that age, so yeah. Is this the strongest you felt since you've come back? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I feel great, and I felt great for, for a long time. Um, I'm just happy for you know I'm happy for myself and um, very thankful for, for the physios for the gaffer for the uh, for, uh, for 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 everyone in the club really for helping me to come back um, and to get me back to my best and yeah I'm just going towards that really. Well, the clear in, in Perth at the moment and there's obviously the the kind of free contract situation with some of the boys that could be coming in next yeah, season. It yeah. looks looks like that's on a very Kind of promising strong position for the for the future as well. Oh, 100 percent. Like then the three players that that have uh, been c confirmed and whatever, they're great players. Like playing against them, um, very very good good player, tidy players, and they're, and, and they're going to add to us. And hopefully, if we can finish strong and, and get third, then they're going to be a great addition to and, and and to push us on for next season to to be even better than than this season. So yeah, great additions and yeah like. All the boys have been speaking about it, um, and I, when I first heard about it, I was really, I was really impressed. Is that uh, from your own point of view as well? Does that kind of would that help in, in terms of you staying here long term as well? Oh yeah, hundred percent. But I think ultimately, I won't be signing any contract with anyone before the season starts. For me, it's we're doing it at the end of the season. Spoken my family and whatever. 
um, there won't be any art pre contract with this team or this team or whatever. For me, it's focusing on art, focusing on the finishing third, because obviously last season we let it slip. So we we still need need to hold on to that, and yeah, and hopefully uh, go on and uh, uh, and win the cup if we can, and that that's basically my aim. But yeah, those players coming in and and where the club is going and yeah, adding all that yeah, like definitely it makes you start to think okay, you know what well, I'd I'd, I'd want to play with these players because they're very very good players. Considering Pat McKay made a comeback as well, so yeah. you've gone virtually the whole season without him. Really oh yeah, he's barely, yeah. barely played yeah. and such a big player. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. I think unfortunately for us, no one's really seen us play together. Like so, Boise, Halks, Baz, and last season it was me, Boise, Halks. Um, so I think next season, if you know, I don't really believe in luck, but if there's a little bit of luck or whatever, then yeah, like we're going to be a dangerous team. And adding all these players that are coming in. And just playing to, to to get on whatever yeah like it's, it's going to be great and it was great to see him today and I thought he done very very well. Yeah. Well,